Hey what's up folks, in this project we're making retro inspired wearables. In this video, we'll show you how we designed and 3D printed this to look like a Game Boy that you can wear as a necklace. The pendant features an IPS display with animated graphics. It uses Adafruit's CircuitPython to create animated sprites that look like flying toasters and scrolling clouds. We made two versions, one for each display, so you can use the 1.3 inch or 1.54 inch IPS display. It's also easy to swap out the graphics and modify the code to make your own animations. With CircuitPython, you can use the display I.O. library to generate custom graphics and interfaces. Head on over to circuitpython.org and check out all the supported hardware from Adafruit and the community. Here you can download the latest version of CircuitPython and the library bundle. Just double press the reset button to launch the bootloader. Then drag and drop the file to automatically flash the firmware. The board shows up like a USB drive so you can easily upload code, library files, and assets. With Display.io, you can create graphics that have custom shapes and text. You can use bitmap images to create sprite sheets and palettes to generate colored pixels. Check out the documentation to learn how to use the APIs so you can create sprite sheets and tile grids using demo code and the examples. The code in this project randomly generates flying toasters that continuously scroll across the screen. We think it's a great example for folks getting started with Display.io and CircuitPython. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. We designed the parts to be 3D printed without any support material. We used silicone cover ribbon cable to wire up the display breakout. This wire is stranded core, so it's flexible and stays nice and neat. In this project, we're using the Itsy Bitsy M4 dev board. To wire up the electronics, you can check out the learn guide and follow the circuit diagram. We're using the LiPoly backpack so we can recharge the battery over the micro USB port. You'll want to wire up a small slide switch so you can power the circuit on and off. We used electrical tape to insulate the exposed pins on the bottom of the board. This is an easy way to prevent the circuit from shorting out. Once the electronics are wired up, you can fit the parts into the 3D printed enclosure. The cover can then be snap fitted on the back of the case. These little buttons were printed separately and glued to the front of the enclosure. You can install a split ring to the loop on the back of the cover and add it to your necklace chain or lanyard. And there you have it, that's how you can create your own retro inspired wearables. Be sure to check out the learn guide for a full tutorial. If you have projects you'd like to share, check out Adafruit's show and tell livestream. All participants get a free vinyl sticker. You can also check out the Adafruit Discord server so you can chat with the community. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit. <laughs>